We make a lot of videos about giant sharks and the megalodon and even squids and all that creepy underwater business. But you know what? Not every creature in the ocean is a deadly, carnivorous monster. Some of them are as joyous and as kind as SpongeBob himself. And now it's their turn for the spotlight. These are the friendliest sea creatures around the world. Number 15. Manta Ray The sea ray family is, it's fair to say, a mixed bag of friendliness. So can you, can you just, like, pet them? Some, like stingrays, can be nasty, mean little things that will kill you the first chance they get. Others, like the manta ray, are quiet, peaceful, and incredibly friendly. They'll kill you with kindness. Whew, I, uh, apologize for that one. But what did you expect? Comedy gold? Come on. If you were to take a quick glance at the manta ray, you'd probably be forgiven for assuming it's one of the evil members of the ray family. But you'd be wrong. While this thing does have some odd horn-shaped fins, the manta ray is actually famous for its peaceful and quiet nature, especially towards humans. There have been many recorded instances of manta rays being quietly curious toward their human guests, often gliding through the water around them. It's this kind of elegant behavior that has earned them the name Sea Angels. The manta ray is one of the lesser known and underappreciated members of the ray family, though it's easily one of the most peaceful. And honestly, any animal that does not want to kill us should really be a friend. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Whale Shark I know, I know. You hear the word shark on a list of the friendliest sea creatures, and you probably think we're trying to get you killed. But the whale shark is actually one of the most peaceful sharks on Earth. Yeah, that's a real thing. Every year, thousands of people flock to Cancun to swim with whale sharks, one of the biggest fish on the planet. And they all live to tell the tale. While we generally think of sharks as killing machines, the whale shark's diet is entirely made up of plankton and krill. Tons of it. Due to their diet being limited to microorganisms, there is absolutely no chance of humans being eaten or even killed by these gentle giants. In fact, they seem to quite like humans and have become somewhat accustomed to swimming alongside us. That's kind of cute in a way, right? The whale shark sounds like an intimidating creature, but it's hard to find a more peaceful shark. Unless you're a bit of krill or plankton, you can rest assured. These things won't have have any interest in hurting you. Number 13. Bottlenose Dolphin Need we say more? The bottlenose dolphin is one of the most beloved and popular sea creatures in the world, known for their fierce intelligence and appealing charisma. And of course, they're incredibly friendly to humans. So, in summary, we love them. There are hundreds of places around the world that offer the chance to swim with dolphins, and just about everybody that does it will tell you just how wonderful an experience it is. These animals are so kind and empathetic that it makes the whole experience worthwhile. I mean, even their curved mouths are almost designed to look like a friendly and permanent smile. What else could you possibly want from one of the most affectionate animals living in the ocean, right? I mean, if they were capable, they'd probably give you a hug. But we haven't reached that stage of evolution just yet. The bottlenose dolphin is one of the purest and most intelligent species you could hope to find underwater. And they're notoriously kind and friendly towards humans in just about all situations. It's hard to imagine anybody could not like them. Number 12. Pacific Gray Whale A whale probably wouldn't be the first friendly sea creature you'd think of, sure. But the Pacific Gray Whale has long gotten an unfairly bad rap. This is an animal that's become notorious among whalers on the water for being aggressive. But that's only one side of the story. Back in the days of the whaling industry, professionals would refer to the gray whale as the 
devil fish due to their habit of attacking and destroying whaling vessels. As a result, many professionals began going out of their way to avoid hunting these magnificent creatures, knowing they probably wouldn't make it back. However, with the end of commercial whaling, the gray whale began approaching small boats and doing so peacefully. In fact, these animals now seem to be perfectly comfortable with humans touching them, a far cry from their once violent history. The Pacific Grey Whale is an animal that has long had to contend with an unfortunate and frankly damaging reputation. Contrary to popular belief, these animals have shown themselves to be peaceful time and time again. They just want to be our friends. Number 11. Hammerhead Shark Okay, yes, hammerheads have been known to be a little aggressive towards humans, but that doesn't mean they're bad in any way. This hammerhead was downright ornery. Actually, those instances of hammerhead attacks on humans are incredibly rare, so maybe we should rethink our relationship with them. Of all nine species of hammerhead sharks on our planet, only three have ever been recorded as having attacked a human. Otherwise, they seem to be incredibly peaceful and safe sea creatures. Seriously! In fact, the hammerhead shark tends to be pretty considerate if it's planning on attacking you, sending out a series of very clear warning signals in the form of some wild body contortions. And while that's maybe not so helpful for clueless humans in the deep, trained divers are able to handle it pretty easily, rendering this animal completely harmless. But again, only if you're a trained diver. So get training, guys! By and large, the hammerhead shark is not as aggressive as its reputation would suggest. As I mentioned earlier, there's a surprisingly low number of recorded incidents of a hammerhead attack, making this one of the friendliest sharks in the water. Number 10. Sea Turtle just for a moment, think about Finding Nemo, one of the greatest documentaries about life underwater. No doubt you thought about Crush, one of the true heroes of our world, a cool sea turtle that has this whole life thing figured out. Truly an icon for our unpredictable and chaotic times. There's a good reason that snorkeling with sea turtles has become one of the most popular tourist attractions anywhere around the world. They're nice! That's really all there is to it. People want to swim with sea creatures that are friendly and kind, as well as being cute. And the sea turtle is pretty much all of the above. If a snorkeler behaves with respect towards the animals, they receive it in kind, and can even be surprised by an up-close flyby from the turtles. Now that's true kindness, right? People trek to Hawaii from all around the world, just for a shot at seeing a sea turtle in its natural habitat. And for most of them, they're not disappointed. These animals are more than comfortable with humans, which makes them ideal swimming companions to quote crush righteous. Number 9. Caribbean Reef Octopus like the whales, octopi are sometimes wrongly misaligned as aggressive or difficult creatures to handle. But this is a pretty sweeping and untrue generalization. In actuality, octopi are pretty harmless towards humans, unless expressly provoked. And I think we all know people like that, right? The Caribbean reef octopus in particular is known to be an incredibly friendly species. They live, as you'd expect, in the coral reefs of the Caribbean and tend to generally keep to themselves unless they're planning to mate with others. However, while they can be territorial animals, they're not inherently aggressive towards humans, despite the unfortunate truth that humans regularly hunt them. In fact, the Caribbean reef octopus is often kept as a pet by some fans of more exotic animals. Thanks to their friendly nature and generally independent behavior, they obviously make excellent pets. I mean, they're no dog, but they're pretty good. While most people would likely shy away from having an octopus in their home, it's clear that this animal makes a pretty good pet. While they may not be quite as social as some other octopi, it won't kill you. And that should be the first step in getting any pet. Number 8. Sea Lion 
They're the puppies of the ocean, the sea lion. These intelligent, adorable animals are incredible to see up close, and some of them even seem to appreciate the presence of humans, which is kind of amazing. Even humans don't appreciate the presence of humans. One Spanish marine park has even put together an attraction allowing tourists to come and swim alongside the sea lions themselves. While sea lions in the wild can occasionally be aggressive or even violent, these sea lions are apparently raised in a populated human environment that teaches and encourages them to be gentle and kind towards us, which is always appreciated. Until we get into the wide open ocean and get attacked by the wild sea lions, and then maybe we'll reconsider those initial beliefs. Maybe. Who am I kidding? I'll probably still be happy to see one up close and personal. The opportunity to swim alongside sea lions is undoubtedly one of the most memorable experiences you could ever hope to have. And let's be honest, why wouldn't you want to spend time with these adorable animals? Obviously, you know, not one of the aggressive wild ones. Number 7. Pink Amazon River Dolphin Not all animals are immediately friendly. Like shy humans, it may take some time for them to truly warm up to humans. The Pink Amazon River Dolphin is one of these animals. But when they do warm up to human interaction, they're easily one of the friendliest animals you could hope to meet. While Amazon dolphins may not be quite as sociable as their sea equivalents, the pink Amazon River dolphin has been recorded as being particularly kind to humans. But it's worth mentioning that this kindness is honestly surprising, as the only threat to the river dolphin is, well, humans. In the Amazon, fishermen can often be found on the water attempting to catch the very fish that the river dolphin lives on, an action that can have dire consequences for the dolphins under the surface. And that's just the fishermen. We haven't even gotten into the problem with hunters. Thankfully, the Brazilian Institute of Environment and Renewable Natural Resources has permanently banned the killing of this incredible animal, protecting them from that tragic fate. The pink Amazon River dolphin has long been known to be a friendly animal, provided that you don't go trying to kill it. Although if you're looking for friendliness, chances are you're not planning on killing this beautiful animal. I hope. Number 6. Beluga Whale as humans, we don't really go out looking to pet whales, but the beluga is a unique animal in its own right. It's not just a whale, it's an extraordinary whale. Because it may well be even more sociable than any other species. Like all whales, the beluga spends most of its days eating small aquatic life forms, such as krill or little fish. And as for the rest of its days, they like to take some time to socialize with one another in a nonviolent and friendly manner. The beluga whale pod is generally made up of anywhere between 2 and 25 individuals, although some pods have been known to join together, forming a kind of super pod of up to 10,000 whales. This kind of enthusiastic socializing makes them one of the most peaceful and least aggressive species of animal you can find beneath the surface. While we've already covered just how peaceful and sociable the beluga whale is, there's also another factor that makes the beluga seem extra friendly its face. Their forehead is actually capable of changing shape and moving, helping it to make a bunch of different facial expressions. Even some humans can't do that. Number 5. Manatee some people know manatees as the cows of the sea, which sounds like something of an insult. But actually, it's more of a compliment. 
Like cows, manatees pose absolutely no danger to human swimmers whatsoever. They actually seem to like them. Manatees, by their nature, are peaceful creatures that spend most of their days swimming and eating seagrass before settling down for a well-deserved rest. They don't eat any living being, and they're famously non-aggressive, which makes for a pretty comfortable existence, if you ask me. There have been many reports and videos of humans humans encountering manatees in the wild, with many of these encounters instigated by the manatees themselves. It seems like this animal has absolutely no problem approaching swimmers for a little belly rub or just some friendly close contact, which makes it one of the most sociable animals in the water. Some areas around the world offer the opportunity to go swimming alongside manatees, which must be a pretty breathtaking experience. At the very least, you know that you'll get to give some good belly rubs to one of the most beautiful animals of the deep. Number 4. Otter if you venture into the wild, you'll find that the majority of animals are more than content to leave humans alone. Which, considering our long history of needlessly hunting animals that we don't eat or really do anything with is understandable. The otter is one of these shy creatures. On the rare occasion that the otter actually does approach a human, they're known to be peaceful and very friendly animals. As sociable and playful creatures, they spend much of their day playing with their friends, wrestling with one another, and having impromptu climbing competitions. Or if they're feeling particularly productive, they'll build some tools. Yes, tools. You heard me right, and I will not clarify. It's worth adding that otters have been known to be aggressive towards some humans, so it's not necessarily an animal you'd like to go seeking out. However, they're generally pretty peaceful, and prefer to leave humans alone if they happen to encounter one. The otter is one of the shyest animals you could possibly see, so it's no surprise that it would rather keep to itself than be near a human that may wish to hurt it. I mean, to be fair, that's kind of the way I live my life now. Number 3. Orca They're one of the largest animals on the planet, but the killer whale is actually a friend. Well, I use the term friend loosely. It's more of an ally. It doesn't kill us, and we don't kill it. And that's kind of the way we should all be living our lives. Orcas are highly sociable creatures, and those that live in the wild have never attacked a human. The reason for that isn't apparent, but it seems to be the norm among killer whales that humans are not food. And I, for one, am perfectly happy with that arrangement. There's a legend in the culture of the Tingalit indigenous peoples that tells of a woodcarver named Nat Selane, who, with the help of an impressively insightful sea lion, carved a great whale out of wood. That whale came to life, and Nat Selane sent it to do his bidding, instructing it to kill his brother's in-law. The whale followed the order, but Natsalane felt so badly that he told the whale to never harm humans again. So you can thank the Tinglet people for peaceful orcas. While the orca could easily kill humans if it so desired, and there have been instances where captive orcas have killed their owners, it chooses not to do so in the wild, and nobody's really sure why that is. But I say that's great. Number 2. Sunfish You've probably never heard of the sunfish, an animal so strange looking that it's been insulted and mocked for pretty much its entire existence. And while it does look a little unusual, it's so much more than the way that it looks. It's not only its appearance that makes the sunfish so unusual. This odd species consumes a massive amount of food and owns the record for the largest bony fish on the planet. But perhaps most intriguingly, they're one of the friendliest fish out there in the ocean. Due to their reliance on other species to rid them of parasites, the sunfish is a naturally curious creature and has been known to approach human divers just to see what exactly is going on. They're docile, peaceful fish that 
pose no threat to humans. And they're cool to look at too. So, two birds, one fish? The fish may look like one of nature's most excellent practical jokes, but it's actually one of the most fascinating animals you could hope to find in the wild. Their docile nature and curious personality make them a diver's best and most unexpected friend below the surface. Number 1. Yoriko the bond between man and nature cannot be understated. This is a strong and powerful friendship built on mutual respect, curiosity, and love. Regardless of whether it's a dog, a horse, or a fish with a bulbous nose, we've been told that fish have poor memories, that they don't really remember us for long, and they certainly don't feel anything about us. But that's not true for one diver. For over 25 years, an Asian sheep's head wrasse named Yoriko has made an effort to greet a local diver, Hiroyuki Arakawa. Every single time, he heads beneath the surface off the coast of Japan to tend to an underwater shrine. No matter what the circumstances, every single time Arakawa heads underwater, Yoriko is there to see him and to play with him. While the Asian sheep's head wrasse is a frightening looking fish, this 25-year-old bond proves that they are loyal, kind, and good-hearted creatures. True friends! Arakawa often brings tour groups down to see the shrine, and it's not uncommon for Yoriko to come and visit them too. While some of them might be slightly frightened initially, Arakawa's friendship is proof that you can never judge a book by its cover. Which of these animals do you think you'd get along with best? Let us know in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.